Alrighty, here we are playing Elder Scrolls Online, and this is probably one of my favourite MMOs ever made. Because it is so large, and because um, it's just uh, it's really fun, really engaging game, uh, really fun with friends. Played it for a long time with four of my closest mates, and uh, we had a ball. The dungeons were hard, challenging, you had to put a strat together, and all sorts of stuff. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun playing it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start a new character anyway, and um, yeah, go from there. That's my uh, older character, um, level 9 Templar, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and create a character. So this is a pretty in-depth character creation once again, so I won't go into detail, um, but yeah, here we go. So you've got the alliances that you choose, and um, I usually choose Daggerfall. I think that was just always what I played uh, PS4, so whatever, I've stayed the same. The Aldermary Dominion, and then you got the Ebonheart Pact, or Ebonheart Pact. And um, there is some races you can't go with certain uh, alliances as usual, but um, for now, you know, I'm just going to go with what I uh, find the best. Um, each, each race uh, has their own, like, racial passive sort of abilities, so... Um, that can benefit certain things like classes, you know, some things will have better uh, magicka, which is the mana in this game, uh, regeneration or better health pool or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's not like a massive deal breaker, but you know, you can always, you can always, um, yeah, look into it if you really want. Uh, for now, I'll go with a, let's go for a Nord, because they're big fellas, and um, yeah. Let's give it a go. Check out what they look like in Endgame Gear 2. Full naked. <laughs> Which is probably good for character creation. Um, once again, I'm playing this in the NVIDIA GDX 1080, so I can put it on max settings, but if I have a frame rate job, then that's just it's not fair, really. But anyway, let's go with a class, and I'm going to go with a Templar. So you got Dragon Knights so you can get. There's the thing there. If you need to read that, you can pause it. Uh, Sorcerer. The Nightblade and the Templar. And at the moment, I'm going to play Templar because uh, I'm a bit more familiar with it and I can, I'm can i confident to start a new character on that. Um, yeah, cool. So let's go with the body. Um, yeah, so here comes the in depth muscular, uh, muscular creation, the in depth character creation. So you can be a little bit, little bit big boned, or you can be a little bit small boned, or you can be a little bit muscly boned. Um, there's the height you can choose. I'm going to choose tall, skin color. Let's go with a nice, healthy tan. Body marking. Oh yeah, this this. Um, some of these are not very noticeable. We can see like that one there was like just little dots on his body. Um, yeah, pretty cool little like tribal sort of um, stuff, I guess. But I don't think you'll ever see it really. So I might go with something like a scar on the face to make him look like he's um, like he's you know done something in the battles that he's been in. Let's have a quick look through and if there's nothing I like then um, I'm just going to go with nothing. To me that looks like a guild or too simple. Uh, this one here. <laughs> anyway, let's scroll back. Um, shit. Yeah, oh, I think there was a few markings there on his face. It's really hard to tell I guess. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just going to leave it like that. Nothing at the moment. Torso size. Okay. Let's zoom back out. Uh, chest size. Gut size. Make him nice and um, <laughs> nice and fit. Um, arm size. Hand size. <clears throat> lower body. And there's the hip again. Stereo dimension. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope. I don't really know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's his ass. Just a nice way of saying how big his ass is going to be. There's your legs, your feet. So it's pretty cool. Right? Like you can pretty, be a pretty big character, and it is noticeable when some people just sort of go go along and just make a normal sort of stand look character. This shit. Uh, I swear it looks it looks so much better on PC because I played PS4 for so long. Um, but anyway, yep. Skip through that. So face. Okay, heroic. This is a bit weird. This one because. <laughs> it does make a bit of a difference, but um, I'll just go in the middle. I'm not going to get into to the thing. This is the voices, which is pretty funny sometimes. There you go. That one there. That one there. 
and um, <clears throat> manly. Alright, here's style. Let's see. Um, so, this is pretty pretty good selection once again. So, I'm just going to go with um, the one I generally go with. Let's go with the little warriors. Not here. Yeah, that'll do. Hair colour. You can see the colours there. I'll just go straight to black or dark brown uh, features so this is when you can start changing the way they look with age so that's old as possible or as young as possible or leave it as young adornment I think it's just like yeah facial hair and um, sometimes I think it includes earrings and stuff certain races like the lizard people whatever they're, um, they're called I can't remember now um, the lizard people have like different sort of spikes and stuff on their face so if you want to be an extra spiky lizard then go for it I think that's a new beard and I like it that moustache is glorious, and I love glorious the mighty moustaches. Alright, face, forehead slope. Yeah, I mean, I might not, I might not do all these, because I could take forever. Um, you can see, like, they just do minor changes, but you can see them all there. And if I was to change every one of them, then this the whole video would just be a character creation. Um, I do want to get into a little bit of combat. So, eye colour. Let's go with a... Let's go with demon eyes. Well, it doesn't really look demon-like, whatever. Eye size, yeah, once again, I'm just going to go big eyes. That doesn't really look that big anyway. And you can change all that stuff there. And I know most people will probably go and like change it all, but some people don't want to see it all. They just want to see what it, what is like um, possible, I guess. This is eyebrow type, so I will quickly change this. Get some, um, some, get some character on my character. With some um, big beefy eyebrows. Not the monobrow, thank you. And... Yeah, go with like a mark, little whatever they'll do. No shape, once again. You see it all. Like this is this is pretty much all you need in the character creation. When when there's the people like me who do like to go into a bit of detail, um, clearly not today because I'm just trying to go through it quickly and have a look at it. And then you can change the years and stuff, and you can even make these guys look like a bit of an elf, I believe. Like uh, let's see, ear tip flare. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> ear size. Yeah, it's not really that that um, special, really. Like, uh, I think certain certain races will have different things anyway. And you, once again, you can randomise the appearance, but that's not always a good idea because you might end up looking completely ridiculous. All right, so let's go with my name. I think you can have two names in this game. Yeah, <clears throat> but um, I might just go with one for now. If I can choose that name, create. Yeah, so that's the um, tutorial, which. You know what, I might just take you through the tutorial because it's a good way to teach people, um, but let's play it. A whaling prison. Now let's see how long it takes to load. The only bad thing about ESO is that, um, is that it's, um, the servers aren't very, like, good for an Australian to play. They're not very, um, low latency like it is on World of Warcraft or something. I'm sitting on 60 AMS these days, wow, because they've got a local server. So yeah, that was first person, and then this is obviously third person, so it's really cool you get that option. Um, yeah, I'll keep the FPS at the top left-hand corner if they appear in the video. I assume they will, just so you can see how it goes with this graphic card. Um, it's, it's a beautiful game, it really is, and honestly, I can't stress enough. It's one of my favourite games I've ever played. I've had so much fun playing it. It's just hard to get um, <laughs> a lot of people together to play it these days. Cool. So... Yeah, this is just like a little whaling prison, sort of like um, Skyrim, you start off in a prison, and, but this is more like, um, like, uh, trying to think of what these demon things are called, before you find out eventually. So it says their name at the top here, um, but I'm trying to think of what sort of type they are. Alright, well I just defeated the prison guard, so that was easy. How the hell did I get in prison in the first place then, eh? Huh? Alright, so this chick is a, uh, oh, she's like... I think she's a Nord too, actually. Um, I think she's pretty part of like a big part of the law. Like this game is really cool because it still follows the law of Skyrim and stuff. And I believe it's like taken past, taken like two thousand or two hundred years in the past or the present. Uh, 
Oops, in the past. Sorry, 200 years after or before. Oop. So you can block with the right mouth. Um, Skyrim. And so, but they're slowly including like things like Morrowind now. So I'm not paying attention. It wants me to do something. <laughs> and yeah, so that's where the law sort of takes place. Okay, cool. So you can see what I'm doing at the bottom there. It's telling me exactly what to do. Um, but I'm not doing it because I'm really bad at talking and playing sometimes. Let's get out of here, my friend. Let's get out of here, my friend. So yeah, the interface is really minimal. Um, like you, you can do it now. You must rescue me, the and I, in turn, must rescue you. Got a lot of famous voice actors in the game, you might recognise some of them. Come here. Alright, let's quickly change the um, interface so I can see what you can actually do. Uh, the action bars, um, they, there's all the combat text you can change, and like the healing and stuff like that. There's the chat bubbles, I'll keep them on for now, just in case I want to have a little gander with someone. Um, the just trying to look at the action bars because I know you can um, you can there you go automatic don't show always show so then this will show my um, and I'll do that percent uh, number only um, whatever that's good enough for now you can see once again if you want just pause it um, there is a lot of settings you can do now to customize this game and um, the camera there you can be quite quite customizable so there's my action bar now at the bottom right, let's talk to this woman and quickly um, get through this part. So yeah, it's every every quest is like voiced in this game. Every quest, and um, I think you can make decisions in some of them, but like most of them will end up at the same thing if it's like gonna be a big quest or something. Um, oh no, put him down! Put Krillin down! Ah, oh. had to go and kill Krillin. That's it. <laughs> So you can just see my damage text. I think that was not on before, but it's cool that you can have that. And 2700 is obviously not that high. I think it must be a lot higher in Endgame. That's a crit that you saw. Oops. Uh, the yellow exclamation mark. There you go. That one there. And that was me leveling up. Um, there's a lot of add-ons for this game too, which is wicked. You can make um, like damage items like uh, if you play WoW, whatever, recount. So it shows how much damage you're doing compared to the um, rest of the party. Uh, you can do uh, like all sorts of interface add-ons that um, are available uh, and they all integrate nicely into the game. It's really good that they allowed it because add-ons to me are you know, they're such a big... They just make that... Um, oh, you can jump by the way. <laughs> they make that big um, difference with the um, just the way to play a game and try to get as much out of it as possible. Block this guy. And boom! Oh, took you down. What was your name again? Cool. So let's do this first part of this quest. And um, yeah, just it's a beautiful game. Eh? It really is. This is sort of like a cold version of Oblivion. Um, like the um, Elder Scrolls Oblivion game. These are other players. I think this guy's struggle town. Getting mobbed. So I'm going to back him up even though I'm a level one. So yeah, you see all the pop-ups is telling me what to do. Like B for loot and stuff. And it's really convenient. Um, and like I'm not holding my mouse buttons down at all. The camera is just like that. It's it's fixed to the to the mouse sort of thing. Um, so that's why I guess I call them action MMOs. I'm not really sure the right right term. Um, but yeah, this is sitting nicely. It's sitting at 100 FPS, which doesn't really matter because my monitor is not even um, 100 hertz or 2060 hertz. But um, it's just cool to see what I could achieve with a better monitor. So let's take this guy down. Um, and there. I'll quickly go into the character menu. Um, so this is, oh, there we go. So as you level, you get skill points. Just gotta go and attack me, nope. Um, so you can choose like what you want to invest your skill points into. I'm just gonna go into um, magic uh, now because I do use a lot of heals in this character. Um, commit point. Um, and then this is my, yeah, here you go. Just says it there. This is basically where your skills are, and you will get skill points um, as you level. That's going to be specific classes. So that's a healing class. That's sort of like the damage sort of caster class, and that's sort of more of a melee DPS class. I'll take that, puncturing strike. And yeah, so this game does have the whole trinity, tank, DPS. Hello. Look like, I thought it was a monkey. The cat thing. 
um, Khajiit. Khajiit would buy your wear. And, um, yeah, so they do have the uh, specific, um, yeah, tank, healing, and DPS classes. Um, shift is sprint, which is pretty cool. And you can see my stamina in the bottom right hand corner there. Oh, shit. I was meant to sneak. And, yeah, they have the old sneak beat with, uh, like they do in the old games. I think I have to destroy this thing. It's a lot of eye. <laughs> you ain't no match for me. Alright, now the sprint. While he's blinded, we must get to the prophet's cell. To the prophet's cell. Um, you can see the compass at the top there. That's basically showing exactly where to go. And that makes it a lot easier. Uh, jump over this clan here thingy. Run! Oh, who's this? Oh, never mind. Let's take these guys down. Ooh. Yeah, you can see my resource bars popping up now at the bottom, health, mana, and stuff. They were before, but um, now I'm using more mana as well. Now I'm using mana, so you can see that popping up. And um, that's. I think you can show them permanently, but now I'm not going to bother getting into that. Uh, waste time getting into settings and stuff. But at least you know that it's possible, etc. Um, let's quickly go look at this prophet man. This water is beautiful, eh? It's truly, um, truly a beautiful game. It really, it really stands above the rest when it comes to graphics and stuff. I'm gonna run sprint past them. Don't have time for no monsters. I think this must be his cell, is it? Whoa! Chill out, mate. You will never escape, mate. I'll never escape. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Oh well. Tell me. Tell me to go a different way then. All right, let's go this way. I think this might be the right way. Maybe not. All right, let's follow follow the arrow. Ah, oh, she wants to talk to me. <laughs> Damn it! Who's Cadwell? Blah, blah, blah. I did used to listen to all these, but I've played. I've made a quite quite new, um, quite a few new characters. It's Cadwell. That's actually John Cleese. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at this part. Um, it's a really fun game, and like I could just play this game all day already, just making a new character, even though I've made so many new ones. Um, I honestly could just play all day, like it's so fun. Um, but it does take me a long time to upload, so um, for now, I'll leave it there. Um, please leave a like, please subscribe if you want to see more videos, and um, have a good day. If you want to see more, just let us know and I will continue the series. Thank you very much and I will see you later.